Today we'll be testing the silent Faraday bag. And uh, in order to do this, I have a spectrum analyzer, which measures the RF energy in the spectrum. What we want to determine is whether or not RF energy can escape from the bag. There will be three tests, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and cellular. On the first test, we will test the Bluetooth module in the phone with a Bluetooth speaker. I'm now connected to my speaker and I will play music. Let's see what happens. I hear music. What it means, my phone over Bluetooth is now linked to the speaker. Now, what I will do is I will place my phone inside this very well-made bag, by the way. And now you notice the link has disappeared. So now what we did, we still have two cell phones. One is inside the sleeve, one is outside the sleeve. This phone is connected to the hub. This phone is attempting to connect to the hub. But using this, this, this network analyzer, you can see that this phone is no longer connected to the Wi-Fi router. The next test, we'll be using a, an RF transmitter that is 12 times more powerful than the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi module in the phone. This is designed to go through walls. This is designed to capture a signal a mile away. And the spectrumizer measures the, the energy level in the spectrum. It's used by the US government to look for covert listening devices, including Bluetooth devices, Wi-Fi devices, and cellular devices. So each one of those spike is a, is a radio, is an AM, FM radio that's transmitting. Now the transmitter is inside the bag and you can see the signal has disappeared. Now I'm gonna take it out of the bag. You see as I open the bag, even the enclosure is important. This is the importance of the enclosure. The bag is open, you can see it. Now you close it, it's gone. That's why your enclosure is important. The, so the silent Faraday bag effectively blocked this quite strong signal. We're testing the cellular module. We want to find out whether or not the sleeve, the silent sleeve effectively blocks the cellular signal. Now there'll be a call to my phone and you can clearly see that my phone is connected to the cell site. Now what we'll do, we'll place the phone inside the silent sleeve. The phone is not answering. And the reason is th this phone is no longer connected to the network. In other words, the network does not know where the phone is, therefore it does not connect. In my opinion, you're not safe. No. Anytime you use your cell phone, you're, it gives you a false sense of security. And the concern now is not just the operating system, it's all the apps you have on your phone. So spying on you could be not through the operating system, the, the, the Apple operating system, but it could be through an app on your phone. The technology changes so quickly. I mean, look at this watch now. This is a cell phone, really. The Faraday, it's, it's, it helps. The cell phone in 100 years from now will still need radio frequency to connect to a network. So Faraday is basically, will always be effective against RF because RF is how everything is this day. Everything's wireless. Wireless means RF. And the material in this bag blocks RF.